Welcome to the School of Renewable Natural Resources. I'm Dr. Mike Keller. I'm a professor here in this school. We're in the school's lobby where um, you will pass through on your way to your classes and your labs. Within this school, we have one degree program, the Bachelor of Science in Natural Resource Ecology and Management. And under that degree program, we have a number of different concentrations. What's true about all of these concentrations is a focus on hands-on application and learning. So these images here are students, students like you, actually doing things outside. All of our concentrations are gonna start working with measuring and describing things that don't move. It's easier with the things that don't move. So we're gonna start with plants. We're gonna learn the plants that live there, the names of those habitats and ecosystems. Then your junior year, we're gonna move into a lot more animal identification, capture and handling. And then in your senior year, we're gonna move into the most challenging part, which is how many animals or plants are there. That's these last set of pictures. These are all students. These are students using the real equipment. That's a $9,000 backpack, Electrofisher, that I will let students use their senior year. We work your way to doing the things that professionals do in their, prof in, in their careers. So whether you're interested in habitats like wetland science, forest resource management, wildlife habitat conservation and management, those three concentrations focus on the places and the things that live there secondarily. Then we have concentrations that really focus on the wildlife and the fish. That would be wildlife ecology, fisheries and aquaculture. These concentrations are some of our most popular because students like to the, the, the think about careers involving animals, but we can't forget the places they live are also very important. Finally, we have some concentrations that are associated with conservation and restoration. So that would be conservation biology and ecological restoration. These are concentrations that are suited and appropriate for students interested in rare, threatened, and endangered species or really unique habitats and how to make those unique habitats better. All of our concentrations could be passed to vet school with some additional courses. All concentrations have free electives built into them so that you can add a minor in a different area of study or so you could take those courses to go to vet school. We do have a pre-vet uh, uh, concentration within our school. This is designed to have three years of coursework here in this building in the School of Renewable Natural Resources and the final year being in the School of Veterinary Medicine. This is a popular option for students who are very focused and very sure that they want to be veterinarians. However, I will be both your biggest advocate and your biggest challenger because that is not necessarily the only way one can work with animals. I've done surgery on animals. I put radio transmitters in fish. I'm not a vet, but I still do that. So you may not realize all the different career potentials that there are, and that's part of our challenge here in the School of Renewable Natural Resources, is to help you understand your options and, and help you be in the right concentration going into your junior and senior year so you can have those appropriate experiences that get you into the career that you want. That's why we have every semester academic advice, and this is an opportunity for you to meet with us and to talk with someone who has had the career of your interest and talk about courses, when to do study abroad, when to do undergraduate research, when to look for internships that would make you successful in this career. It also is a great time for us to check and make sure you're in the right concentration as your ideas might evolve into what you want to do with your careers. So you can't schedule till you see one of us. And we, we have found this is an asset towards making sure students are in the right concentrations for the maximizing their careers. Another advantage of being a member of the School of Renewable Natural Resources as a student is that virtually all of our classes are here in this building. They might be in this room, they might be in one of our labs. The rooms are relatively small, keeps the class sizes small. We like to have about 35 to one for a lecture and 25 or 20 to one, even down to 12 to one for lab-based classes. So you're in small groups, you're getting a lot of attention, you're getting a lot of guidance from the, the faculty. And it's really convenient by the time you're a junior or senior because you'll be able to stay in this building virtually all day long. And now I'd like to share with you what's, what it's like to be in a lab. We're gonna visit two different labs. In this lab, we have the ability to do dissections of animals and learn about anatomy and physiology, as well as look at prepared specimens for identification purposes. Also to learn about anatomy and morphology. Again, this is why we're a great path to vet school for people interested in wildlife and exotic animals because we have these experiences with animals. Now, I mentioned before that we do a lot of field trips and there will be classes where you'll do 15 weeks of field trips because the, the experiences that we want you to have will be outside. But for other courses, we're gonna do a bit more inside and that would be the things involving dissection and working with the specimens, which we'll get to see a bit more next. So we moved on to another part of the lab where we have specimens of a different sort. 
Some animals, like this feral hog, are difficult for undergraduates to work with. They're, they're dangerous animals, they can transmit diseases, so they're difficult for us to access on field trips, and that's why we have specimens. We also have dolphins and other things that are just a little harder to work with on a field trip. We have the specimens, we bring them to you. So we've moved into another lab, and in the back of that lab we have a closet that contains the largest teaching collection of reptiles, amphibians, and fish in the state. Now, our Museum of Natural Science on this campus has a bigger collection, but that's really for researchers and for people who have specific needs to see specimens. These specimens are here for you. In various classes, you're gonna open up the jars, you're gonna learn your fish, you're gonna learn alligators, you're gonna learn snakes with specimens before we deal with them in the wild. If you remember before, I told you that we like to start with things that don't move and then we move to the things that move. This is just an experience builder. Now, some students may not want to learn about a particular group of animals like snakes. This is again why we have every semester academic advising. If you're into snakes, we will make sure you go, you aim towards those classes. If you're not into snakes, we'll try to minimize how much snakes are present. You might say to yourself, I only want to study snakes. We're not going to let you do that. We're, you're still going to learn other animals, but we're going to try to use advising to make sure you get the exposure to the animals and habitats that you're really interested in. And now I'm going to hand you off to Dr. Chris Green, another professor in the school who's going to talk about integrating technology into the classroom. Hi, I'm Chris Green within the School of Renewable Natural Resources. Uh, I work in the field of fish physiology, fish biology, uh, and ichthyology. Uh, for this semester's classes and moving forward, we're going to try to integrate a lot more technology to assist learning, as well as be able to give some remote learning options for this and other classes. One of the things we're doing here is we're actually utilizing uh, high, high resolution digital uh, cameras to be able to stream via Zoom or other services. Uh, fish identification, such as these bass and minnows here on the screen, uh, as well as the ability to identify bones and hard structures within, say, this fish skull. Uh, to really take it up a notch for you know, technology, we've also created 3D scanning of the different bony structures in the fish, like this fish skull. So we've been able to digitize the outside parts in color for this freshwater drum skull so that we can provide this to online learning as well as in person to create uh, a more immersive experience for the students. So really, 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 really excited to create these new opportunities and kind of jump into new technologies for learning. All the faculty in the School of Renewable Natural Resources are grant writing faculty. We would like to do research, we publish papers and we need people to help us with our research. That, so that means you can join us either as a student worker where we pay you or get you involved for course credit supporting our projects, or you can join us and do, propose independent research that complements what we do. Of course, I work with fish and things that live in the water, so if you wanted to work with black bears, I'm not the right person for you. But we're a diverse school with a lot of different faculty, so there's a good chance that there's somebody here who works with an animal or habitat of your interest. To support our research, we have a diverse set of equipment, like electrofishing boats, we have trucks, we have ATVs, we have various nets and other devices for capturing animals and handling them appropriately. And through your courses, as well as these research and work opportunities, you can build a really great skill set. By the time students finish in this program, about 90% of our students will have at least one of these experiences and 80% will have multiple experiences. We also have a great programs to help you find research opportunities in other departments that are related or with state and federal agencies that are here in town. There are several federal agencies here on campus that draw from this school. So there's opportunities to work with professors as well as other professionals to develop your resume and build experiences. These again will help you figure out what, what career paths you wanna have. Within the school, we have a variety of clubs and professional organizations that you're gonna to wanna to check out. In addition to doing fun things like having pizza and going on camping trips, they bring in professionals to talk about their jobs. You might wanna ask these professionals how they got this job, what the job's really like, is this career something that you think it is? What were the successful things they did on the way to the career? What are mistakes that they would recommend that you avoid? All these things happen by attending club meetings. The club meetings are also places where people look to recruit student workers and interns. In closing, I'm here at my office, 105 Renewable Natural Resources. 
I'm always uh, interested in talking to you about your career, about concentrations, about the degree program. Our goal at the end of all of this is successful graduates. Our goal is to, is to prepare our next set of colleagues, people we're going to work with. It's a true story. I'm working on a Gulf Sturgeon project with people I taught in this building. They're now professionals on the other side of the project. That's the goal here. So the best way we can do that is to know what your interests are, know what you want to do, and have open lines of communication. So please don't hesitate to reach out. Find me on Navigate, find me on email, find me in the building.